Hey everyone, my name's Amber. I'm sure And we're back with another reaction video. So we're gonna keep it St. Patrick's Day theme. Yep. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, we're doing Whiskey uh, Whiskey in a Jar by Metallica, which is a cover of Thin Lizzy's, who covered the Dublin Ears, who covered the original Folky song. Yeah, I think. the yeah, I was like the Folky because I heard the Dublin Ears version and I've heard the Thin Lizzy version. So and they're both pretty true to the folk song. Like they're very they're more on the folky side, very folk. And I've heard then there's this version and this version. Um, I've not heard the Dublin Ears. I've heard, maybe heard a little bit of it, just to get an idea of it when we were talking about it, like, what, back in January? Yeah, I, think? I mean, that was, like, really full, because that's, like, you know, staying tr yeah. really true um, to as original as you can get, you know? Yeah. So we're going to be doing um, a version with lyrics. We didn't chose not to do the original video, the music video, because it's shorter. So we always try to do the longer ones for you guys, so we don't miss anything. Yeah, and also, so you guys don't get on us about it because <laughs> we got like, a few people saying oh the official videos are shorter or whatever which is i don't understand but whatever but we're just like okay we're Let's... trying to do the best we can yep so why don't we get into this here <laughs> definitely a lot heavier <laughs> but it feels still fairly faithful i mean for a cover of a cover of a cover i mean it's just heavy and there's really not any folky elements i mean i feel like the guitar is kind of folky ish not like keeping the folky rhythm I, feel. I mean, I guess the rhythm, but I just mean it's missing, like, the... Uh, at least I still like... I I still like, like, Thin Lizzy's better, but I do like that this was a heavy... Like, I do like to have a guitar in it, like... And James has got a nice voice, like, always. Yeah. And James's voice is good, too, like... So, yeah, I like that, too. Um, I just prefer either the Thin Lizzy one. I just like the more folky ones, that's just... But that's just me, because I like... Folky better. So. I do like folky a bit, but I felt like I couldn't. It was hard for me to pick out. We chose two songs each for uh, today, and then there was one that we 
both just kind of threw in there together as a choice. Um, yeah. So if you guys can guess which ones are which. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, like, I like it because, you know me, I like the heaviness. Yeah, I mean, I will say it's different. Like, I will say they did take a different... It, it, it's interesting that, you know, like, they they obviously want a heavier a direction with it, which works for Metallica, obviously, because mm -hmm. they're just awesome with, you know, the heavy music. So, I will say, yes, I do like, you know, this is just a... This is just a... It can hold on its own really yep. well. Um, is it James just doubled, or is there someone else harmonizing with him? I can't tell. Well, that's what I don't know, because I don't... I, I don't know... I don't think anyone else sings. I wasn't... I didn't think anybody else sang, but... As we've heard in other... Like, we find out somebody else does back and forth, so I don't... Yeah, maybe one of the other guys, uh, um... Kirk or, um, I'm not 100% sure, because I don't even know, like... You know more about Metallica than I do, so... Let's see... See if anyone else is listed as backing vocals. Band members. Uh, Kirk and Robert are both uh, listed as backing vocals. Okay. So maybe one of them is doing the backing vocals at this point. Because I will say, it did sound, they, the voice did sound kind of different from James. Wait, so... I don't think it's Kirk, uh, Robert. Because Whiskey in a Jar is older, I think, from uh, Garage Inc. Which was... Not listed here as in their discography. Um, albums. Kill Laura and Lightning. No, not listed there. Cover albums. Garage Inc. It was released in 98. So it wasn't Robert. In 98, uh, Jason Newstead. Oh, okay. Was the backing vocalist. So it was Jason and Kirk, maybe. Jason and or Kirk backing Kirk, uh, James. No, because I will say they, they sounded different than James's voice. So I was like, I don't, I didn't think that was James, but. But there's audio mixing that but can yeah, be done. But yeah, I so. know there's mixing that can be done. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but. Well, now we know. It might be one of them. If you guys know for sure, let us know. Yeah, definitely. Let us know. So let's get back to it.
Yeah, that one was pretty good. Yeah, I liked it. Um, especially the quiet part got kind of a little, felt a little more folky. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think the second half you could hear more of the folkiness than in the first half. A little bit, anyway. Um, I still prefer it more folky, but, um, I will say I like James' voice and, yeah, and the heavy guitar. I mean, it was nice and all, like, it was good. It's just, I still like the more folk. <laughs> but I'll still give this 8.5. I'm gonna give it an 8.6 because I liked it more, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, I would have been nice to had a little more folky to it, would have made it a little bit better. But I still liked it. It was still really good. I felt like it was fairly faithful for a cover of a cover. Yeah, I and, mean, in their style. Yeah, in their style. Yeah, I can agree with that. So, yeah. Uh, let us know what you guys think. And don't forget to let us know. Um, which uh, songs for today were chosen by whom? That'd be interesting to see if you guys can get it right. Anyways, uh, check out links in the description for the original video and all of our social media. And remember, we have a PayPal and a Patreon if you want to get your request to the headline. Once we get your donation, we will film within that week. And like if we have any issues or delays, we'll contact you. Until next time, you guys. Bye. Bye.